This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Buddy, this is Alex. This is the Ramble. Can we go until midnight tonight? Here from the East Coast of the United States. See, here we are in New York. If I weren't in New York, could I do this? Okay. Anyway, because uh, here in New York, that's that's known as sign language. Okay. Anyway, how are you? Good to see you. Um, I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, I took a couple of days off last week. I'll explain that further as we go on uh and uh, uh i did do a show friday night uh with a few people with a few friends and we did it over on facebook and what's interesting about that little experiment was uh we got at least two and a half to three times the audience for that show that we do for this one so go figure you know a ramble is still a ramble, you know, with any other name or whatever. Anyway, but uh, I have been feeling kind of exhausted and tired and uh, at my wits end. And uh, so I decided to take a couple of days off. And uh, excuse me if I did, and some of you were making plans to call this program, but you probably weren't because one of those nights was Thursday. Uh, and Thursday nights, nobody calls. Okay, I don't even know why I do a show on Thursday night. They used to call, but, you know, people take me for granted now. And uh, that's, uh, that's a pain in the ass. But anyway, so it's, uh, you know, it's uh, our, uh, our uh, Wednesday show. And uh, usually when we do our Wednesday show, let me just uh, admit him here. Uh, we have a gentleman by the name of Phil Meyer who uh, becomes part of our of our cadre, as it were. And um, hello, well, I just, I just, uh, oh, I, I pushed the wrong button. I'm, yeah, that's, oh, really? Oh, it's not going? Oh, that's fine. Okay, well, I can do it by, oh, there it is. It just went. Who knows? I, I, All right. Here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah, you know? here today, Guam tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I heard you say that uh, because you took a few days off, are you feeling better or? Uh... No, I am feeling very exhausted lately, and I don't know why. I haven't been able to figure it out. I'm, I've been first. I've been eliminating medicine, and now mm -hmm. I'm beginning to just think it's this positional vertigo, you know. But I just like if I'm if I'm playing my video games, I get loopy. I yeah. get just really thick-headed and if i even watch a video of somebody else playing those games i get loopy and well, that that i think affects your vertigo i mean even though you're not moving your head or whatever it, it affects your vertigo that that's a possibility you know at the police department they have uh driving simulators mm -hmm. and these simulators you break and you do things and it's so realistic uh, 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 driving simulators that would be a woman wouldn't it yeah, that's no, the that's old the that's the old woman driving joke. Yeah. Excuse me, uh, folks. So what with these driving simulators, mm -hmm. people were actually getting uh, motion sickness and they would give you a band that you could put on your wrist. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to uh, they do that to, for people who uh, are go on boats. Yeah. And yeah, they, and they exactly. wear the band and for some reason they don't get seasick. Well, I, I don't get seasick, and even in the strongest seas, I'm comfortable. But on that driving simulator, uh, mm -hmm. and it was a while ago that I did it, but uh, it, I, I did get uh, an upset stomach. I did get, uh, uh, I, felt, I felt sick, and I actually stopped uh, the, wow. te uh, the test wow. because I didn't feel good. Hmm. So I'm wondering whether these video games now are so realistic mm -hmm. uh, that they can induce uh, the, the kind of feelings that you're getting. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that it's possible. You know, I think that that's one of the, 
one of the things I'm going that's going through me. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Hell, I might have lymphoma. Maybe that's it. Maybe I got the I, lymphoma. You can always hope. <laughs> you know, even, uh, even though the doctors at the uh, cancer clinic for this sort of thing refused to see me because they said they looked at my workup and I don't have cancer. So they well, didn't want to see me. Are you sure they looked at your insurance and they said, we don't want to see him? No, 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 that wasn't it. That wasn't it. <laughs> All right. No, they, they, uh, they, they, they sent me over to the, these people. They said, oh, you've got to go see these, uh, what is it? Uh, it was a, it was an oncologist. A, oncologist, or? yeah, but it was a certain kind of oncologist, uh, 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 glandular or whatever. And yeah. so they sent all the work over from the emergency room. And they looked at it, and I talked to them the next day, and they said, they don't want to see you. They said, uh, go see your doctor. You, you know, you don't. And then I didn't know what she was trying to tell me. So I called back later, a couple of weeks later, when my doctor said, well, go see this uh, oncologist. And uh, I said, I called you a couple of weeks. She said, yeah, I remember you. I said, and you told me you didn't want to see me. And she said, well, of course, because they sent over all the materials, you know, the heart the." Heart work, the brain work, the landing, the hand, all that stuff. They looked at it and they said, we don't see anything that indicates you have lymphoma, which yeah. would be lymphatic cancer. So I just said, okay. So I didn't go to the other one because I figured yeah. that would have been redundant, right? Yeah, I'm sorry they scared you. And you I'm know? Not, should I trust a normal average doctor as a practice or should I say, hey, Mount Sinai probably knows what they're doing? You know, but now yeah. I'm sitting around thinking I have lymphoma. So, well, you know, I, let, let me ask you this about the couple of days off. Did it make a difference? No. Uh, no. Uh, so maybe you need. No, here's, uh, here's why it didn't make a difference. OK. All right. First of all, I so I decide on Thursday I'm not going to do a show. So I mm -hmm. just say I'm not going to do a show. I'm just going to go and lie in the bedroom, play my video games uh, watch some TV shows I have to catch up on, take it easy, you know, talk to the wife for a change, you know, whatever I might be doing. And uh, so I um, uh, decide to take the night off. At, what is it, um, 11.30. Yeah, so just a half hour before you'd normally get on. I get a message from Jack Bishop. I can't get on to the remote PC, which is the thing that you use to get to my computer here. And to, well, wait a minute, let me finish. Yeah, yeah. It would like me to finish the story, or do you want to? Yeah, interrupt I, it? I, I just I had an idea. Yeah. So, and, and I said, "Oh my God, what's the problem?" And he says, "I can't get the remote, remote PC to work." So I start going through a hundred different things with him to try and get it working, and he can't get it working, and he can't figure out what I'm trying to tell him, and it's it's just. And all of a sudden, I'm getting this agita. It's all, you know, and I'm, you know, so the day of rest is no longer a day of rest. All right? Yeah. So I told him, just go on the air, do your show, then, um, you know, send it I'll to me. Put through, it in the Dropbox. Put it in my Dropbox, and I'll, I'll do it, and then we'll figure this out tomorrow. But, you know, that's all it took for me to not have any rest. I needed complete rest. Okay? Yeah. But I well, didn't get it. I, uh, two things. Uh, one is, uh, you know, a little play on I've fallen and I can't get up. Can you record Jack saying that, you know, he's having a problem, he can't get into his uh, thing and make it a PSA? No, no. <laughs> Are you know. sure? I, I mean, I, I know. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, uh, the other thing is, uh, and, 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 uh, yeah. I believe through Windows or even maybe through a Mac, you can take over his computer. Uh, he can allow oh, you to. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on a second. To begin with, I do go to his computer all the time. Okay, oh. Phil? But yeah. I'm using Remote PC, the very program he couldn't have hooked up. And if I, I were to use anything else, he'd have that, have to have that hooked up. He'd have to have uh, a PC program hooked up that right. I could do it with. Okay? So, no, that was impossible. So I call him the next day and I say, okay, uh, we're just going to download the remote PC program again, put it on your machine, okay? And I'm trying to tell him how to do it. To, uh, click on the, on the link I have. I sent him a link. So he go directly to my Dropbox and get the program where I deposited the program. Sure. And he goes, 
Do I right click? Do I left click? What, what's a link? What, what do you mean by click on the link? And I'm just, I, it, all of a sudden I'm getting the same problem I had the day before and this is another day of rest for me. I found the perfect job for you. You know when you call Apple and you ask them for help, mm -hmm. and the people never get upset mm -hmm. and, and they'll work with you as long as it takes? Mm -hmm. That personality type is is got to be the the winning personality type when it comes to computers. Well, no, but no, no, you're, you're an let, me, let me finish the story. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So finally, okay. he says, "Oh, I think my my son-in-law is. I don't know if a son-in-law is it's his uh, his uh, uh, stepson, whatever is here, mm -hmm. and he knows computers." I said, "Put him on the phone." I put him on the phone. I tell him what to do. We're up and running in a minute and a half. Uh, now, was it W.C. Fields that said that it's so easy a five-year-old can do it? Get me a five-year-old? Yeah, exactly. Well, the thing is, the thing is also that, um, uh, if, 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 you know, Jack said to me, well, I'm just too stupid to do this. I, I don't understand that. I'm, and what it is is he so psyched himself out that this yeah. computer has power over him and he doesn't have power over it that he's going to fail every time. And, 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 you know, the last couple of nights I've had a problem with him diminishing the playlist. And I mean, it's just one thing after another. I think there has, a, it was only two days and all the time he's been back that I haven't had to deal with something, you know, and yeah, I just wanted, know. I just wanted to rest from all of that, you yeah. know? Well, I, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't rest. If you do the Monday show, which doesn't give you any agita, most of the people that you like to talk to mm -hmm. are on that Monday show. And take a take a break. Don't do this because you feel that you owe well, somebody. Well, what happened something. was uh, later on that day, uh, usually, you know, the only day that Josh uh, Wheeler calls is mm -hmm. is during the um, uh, Josh Wheeler calls. Friday, is I a think. Friday show. Right. And uh, Kevin, you know, I, I wrote both he and Kevin to tell them that I wasn't going to be doing a show that night because I, I have a I'm very close to them and I just yeah. wanted them to know. And um, I get a note from Kevin and he goes, oh, gee, and I was really planning on coming on tonight. And, everything. <laughs> and, and then I get a thing. From, you then into I it. Get, a thing, get a thing from Josh. Oh, this is the only night that I can do it. And then Josh says, why don't we do it like we do it on the weekend? You know, the three of us on Facebook. Did that work? And uh, I did, did you feel that the end result of Friday's show was similar to a Saturday uh, with uh, with Ben? Not with Ben. You know, because it's Saturday's a non- Oh, oh, oh I see, with Ben. Show, I so with Ben instead of Alex, you know. I don't even react to Ben anymore. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, um, I, it wasn't the same because uh, to begin with, Patrick wasn't there. And secondly, we did allow other people on. I allowed this guy from Canada that we know that does the Monday show. He came on, he was in New York, and he was kind of roaming around town with the camera running. You know, I saw it. It was kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. And, yeah. and, and it was just a fun show. And after it was all over, after a couple of days, I've got like three times the amount of listeners I get on this I, show I on a good day. Do you think that that's because it was Facebook? Could be that at least for starters, Facebook, but I put it also up on YouTube after the fact, mm -hmm. and it got pretty much the same numbers I got on Facebook. So well, that's good. You know, so you know, you you may have either discovered uh, something else, the natural Alex. Uh, you know, uh, I, you know, uh, just when, just when I wanted to leave, they keep pulling me back in. <laughs> yeah, you can't go. Uh, yeah, no, but I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, it, yeah, it worked out really well. I mean, I did it. It was what I called my guilt trip show. Cause they're guilt tripping me. Oh, you gotta, can't we got, well, you gotta, and it was, you know, it was a good little show, you know, it was fine. You know, well, so. yeah, you, you seem to like that type of interaction. Uh, maybe uh, to take a break, 
put on some of your uh, shows from uh, uh, earlier years in San Francisco. I don't know if you can play your serious shows, well, can, can you? If I can, sure. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. they sent me all of them here, so I guess that is their indication that here you can have them to use. You them can for. have these. <laughs> well, what, and, are, what are they going to use them for? And they don't even have copies of it anymore because they sent me all the copies. Well, you could also see whether the uh, you didn't know what your ratings were at Sirius because they didn't use ratings. They, they never had ratings. No. And, but if you played some of those shows, you could see how many people actually watch it. And uh, uh, I don't think it would get much. Yeah, you know, many people. It's all yeah. audio, right? Yeah, it's all audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so. um, yeah, because I'd never heard any of them. I couldn't get up that early, <laughs> and now I do. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, my Sirius is in the car. I guess now you can listen to it on your phone or on a computer. Yeah, uh, you can listen to it with a uh, dildo shoved up your ass. You know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I, think, I think that the greatest waste of money you can spend on broadcasting is a Sirius XM subscription. And here's well, the reason why. We've got 500 channels. Yeah, but how many of them do you want to listen to? I listen to two. That's it. So you're overpaying. It's like cable. I just Five ended, bucks a month. I just ended my normal subscription to cable. I took a program where I could get certain channels that I wanted and didn't have to get all the others. Was that what? through Verizon or one of the others? Verizon. Oh. Yeah, Verizon. I just said I want the lease package so you get to pick five channels. And yeah. then they give you another hundred or so channels, and that's yeah. it. And it's cheaper by about forty dollars than the all-inclusive one. And I also drop Showtime, which I'm now getting through uh, Paramount Plus. And mm-hmm. I dropped uh, Epics because who the hell ever watches Epics? And yeah. I I got rid of um, of uh, Stars because I've never watched Stars. Well, I, I think I'm going to have to sign up for Paramount Plus. Is that the one that Yellowstone uh, is on? Is yeah, no, no, no. Now? That's on. No, Yellowstone's on Peacock, but oh. but the sequel to Yellowstone, uh, uh, 1870, There's another sequel that's coming out like 1921 or thirty-two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I didn't watch the first sequel. Uh, yeah, but I, I mean, yeah, it was it, what, 1886, I think it was called, and yeah. it was terrific. That was terrific. I liked it better than Yellowstone. I'll I'll probably end up watching it soon. It's on Peacock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, you know, I was watching something tonight that reminded me of a movie that I saw online called uh, The Champion. It was about a uh, a guy in Auschwitz that was a boxer. Had you seen that one? No. No, it, w- it was actually a, a very good movie. Uh, it was. It's called The Champion. And uh, have you gotten a chance to watch uh, Lou or no. uh, what was some of the other ones I, I liked? Uh, yeah. No? If you like them, I assume they suck. Well, yeah. Uh, actually, they were, they were pretty actually, good. Actually, I saw a really good documentary today. I'm trying to remember the guy's name now. But it's on, uh, it's on Turner Classic Movies, TCM. And it's a documentary, oh, and it's called By Design, and then it's a Joe, I think the name is maybe Cot Story, I don't know, but Joe something story. You, if, you, if, you, if you get it, um, mm-hmm. if you get TCM, uh, this TCM app. I, and, I might get it through be, yeah. uh, YouTube TV. But it was, a, it, no, you won't get it through YouTube. Well, they have a bunch of other no, uh, channels. No. You know? oh, oh, you might. You're, well, yeah. they, no, because that's running in real time. What you want to oh. do is you want to get the TCM app and then probably say you use, but you buy TCM through the YouTube app and then it'll allow you, but it's in there, it's archived for about a week mm-hmm. as one of their old movies that they ran. And this is a documentary, it was done in 2022 to begin with. When this thing was done, it was like a year ago, maybe, and the guy, the subject of it, is 101 years old. And I wow. asked Marjorie, I said, Marjorie, come here, look at this guy. How old is he? She said, I think late 70s. He did not look to be 101. What was his secret? And his wife is still alive. 
or maybe well, she, she died. 16. Maybe she just died recently. I don't know. But she anyway. was sixteen or twenty-one. Uh, but the, that's doc- what kept but the documentary is about a guy. Yeah. Who if I told, if I when I tell you what he did, you have seen his works all your life. Really? Yeah. What do you do? do uh, did you ever see the poster for Manhattan? Yeah, yeah. You know the way he did the word Manhattan. He did the poster for Manhattan. Wow. He also did a poster for at least five or six James Bond movies and created the logo with the double O and then the seven that morphs into a gun. Yeah. That's yeah. his. And wow. I mean, all the stuff that he did. West Side Story, you know, you remember the poster mm-hmm. for West Side Story? Yeah. Was it he red? Did, yep. He did that. Yeah. I mean, that was his first poster. He did, he did posters all his life. The ABC logo. The ABC News logo. Wow. He did the Olympics for ABC. Well, he did did the Olympics for ABC and he did did the rings. But in the middle, ABC are hanging in the rings with the other ring. The guy was amazing. And it's just a a very inspiring documentary. Not a long one. It's something like about 50 minutes. And he's so unknown, okay, and, and, and as I say, this is a guy that everybody, you have seen what, his what work. What did you say his name was again? Uh, now, let me, hold on a second. Let me, let me go see this letter I sent to Shecky because I uh, uh, da, 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 uh, sent. Where is it? God, I don't know. Where, where did I put my scent? Oh, all sent. Here we go. No, that's not it. Here is Sheckman. Okay. Um, okay, his name is, it's called By Design, it's on TCM, By Design, oh. the Joe Karoff story, C-A-R-O-F-F story. Uh, it is amazing because he's been with us, he's, he's been with you and me and everybody who's listening to us right now, all our lives, you know, and yet he's one of those guys, he never got any royalties, you know. Yeah. I mean, really? he, he created that James Bond logo, the 007 with the gun, and, and he did it on the poster, so they just kept using it. <laughs> you know. So they paid him one time? They paid him one time. But uh, at, what, did he, what uh, did he do to, to make money? I mean, if he got paid one time for a project... He did a uh, lot of them. He lived he 101 years. He did a lot of them, and he had a, wound up having a foundation... He did, uh, you know, that Orion logo, the Orion Pictures logo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He created that. The guy, they paid him just here. Here's forty thousand dollars. That was a lot of money when he did that. Yeah. You know. So, but he 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 did well. I mean, he was the go-to guy. All right. Um, did posters for. He did a lot of United Artists. That's who he worked for for a while. Last Tango in Paris. You know the fist. All the Clint Eastwood. Uh, uh, spaghetti westerns. Oh yeah, he did all those. You know, it's really That's an amazing. interesting documentary. Oh man. yeah, I mean, you, all Turn and, and Shecky said wrote to me back. I said you got to see this thing, and he said, never heard of him. Who is he? And I mm-hmm. went, yeah, and this I've got one now over Shecky because he thinks he knows everything about movies, but he never heard of this guy, and neither well, I, did I, and neither did anybody who's listening to us right now. Yeah, I, I never heard of him. I you know I knew the work, but uh, had never heard of him. It sounds very interesting. Yeah, I know you don't like basketball, and neither really do I. Uh, but you know the iconic logo, the NBA logo mm-hmm. of a silhouetted basketball player. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget the guy's name. His first name was Jerry. I I, I forget his last name. He just passed away, and uh, that that's a very uh, iconic logo. Yeah, uh, although it, uh, most sports have done something like that. I mean, ba- Major League Baseball has a, mm-hmm. something like that with a baseball player. Is it an actual person that they could identify as the uh, as the person in the logo, like they could on the NBA? No, uh, no logo. No, no. no. But anyway, you know. But oh, uh, so I, I'm losing weight, and I had a body competi- composition fat test, uh, which I've done uh, three times now. Mm-hmm. 
what they do is they have a trailer and there's a tank in there that's filled with water that's about 89 degrees. Mm -hmm. And if you don't drown, you you yeah. You well, weight. you you have to get down in the tank face first with weights on your back and blow all the air out of your lungs, and then they see how much water you displace, and they're able to determine what your lean body fat mm -hmm. is. Uh, what uh, what do they do with your dead carcass when they're through doing this? Well, that's why they collect for this up front when you sign up for the, for the thing. <laughs> so they, they get their money and they get their money uh, in advance. Uh, you know, and yeah. you know they just yeah. dump you in the homeless area. Yeah. But I've lost since I started uh, the uh, Rob Alfano intermittent fasting diet. Yeah. And I'm doing the CrossFit exercise uh, about the same amount of time. Uh, I've lost 10 pounds of fat. Oh, that's good. I, that's good. I also lost a few pounds of muscle, but... Uh, However, I, I can lose... If I wanted to tomorrow, I can lose eight pounds of, of fat within two or three days just by going so low that's carb. That's water weight. No, 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 no. no. I mean, now, How I, do you know how much fat you have if you don't do one of these... I don't know because it doesn't wiggle. I don't know... <laughs> All right. You know, but so, you remember I lost I lost 50 55 pounds. You lost more than that. You you went no, from no, what? No. No, I, that's what I lost. I thought you lost 80 and pounds. And then I put back on about 30, but a lot of that has to do with the prostate operation and yeah. medication that I've had to take and so on, but I'm still not and I you know, I've lost my appetite lately. Yeah. I have uh, really lost my appetite. You might have been too gaunt when you were at your lowest weight. Uh, you I think my face good. looks bright about now. Yeah. 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 And, it doesn't uh, look fat. It doesn't look lean. It just looks, yeah. you know. But anyway, the fact is that um, I've, I've just been worried because I sit down at a meal and I go, I don't know if I can eat this. And then, of course, I eat the whole thing. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know. That's, that's what we all do. We're Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> but waste not, want not. Basically, I'm just, you know, I'm just doing like low carb and stuff like that. Yeah. You might be getting tired of the protein. Is, is, is that a possibility? No, I don't know. No, that's carb? not it. That's not it. I Well, I read something that said if you have lymphoma, you, you lose your hunger. You know, but If you get older, you lose your hunger. I think people that are older but, eat less. Yeah, but I had, a, I, had a, I had a whole salad tonight, and then I had for lunch, I had a steak, oddly enough, because we had these steaks that Marjorie has bought, and I haven't been eating, and... I got to eat them before they turn green. You know. Well, what what size are you eating? You're eating three or four ounces, or you're eating twelve or sixteen? Oh no, no, I'm eating about maybe five, six ounces. I, okay. I would imagine. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so, uh, no, that's like fourteen. The no, size no, no. of your fist is like five ounces. No, I don't. I I have to go look at. It. I could tell you how much. You yeah, you know, uh, but. What happens, uh, I found that I was sleeping less, and now I'm actually forcing myself to try and get seven hours. I can't get it up to eight yet, but uh, I'm, I'm doing everything I can think of to just stay asleep. I, I bought a, a thing that uh, it's called a bed jet, and it keeps the bed cooler. It blows air into a special uh, blanket mm -hmm. that... Uh, keeps the ambient temperature uh, oh. air uh, circulating just around. Just, just smoke a joint and go to sleep, okay? That's what I do. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to be cooler. I, I want to feel cooler. I have, I have, a, I have a vapor, vape, a vapor, a vape next yeah. to the bed, okay? And in the middle of the night, if I wake up and I feel I'm having trouble getting back to sleep, just, I'm asleep within two minutes. Well, you know, Alan and I went out on uh, it was uh, Mon Monday or Tuesday. Well, here, let's let's let Alan into the uh, right. into the. Uh, 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 then he can tell you the story how we got the marijuana guy kicked out of Ruth's Chris. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, hey, Big Al. There he and is. Charlie's camera. Yep. There's Charlie. Ah, there it is. False. Yeah. Not fake. Not false. <laughs> not false. Not, not wait a minute. Not false. It's, it's funny, funny because, because true. it's true. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, can Alan tell uh, the story about how he got the uh, the diners at uh, Ruth's Chris uh, thrown out on? Was it Monday or Tuesday that we did that? 
I got them thrown out. You got them thrown out. <laughs> no, it was. It was. It was a. Uh, uh, it was a. We were both working on it. What a happened? Young was, couple came in and they smelled and reeked of marijuana. So, so, oh, it was so, awful. so what's it wrong was about horrible. that? The waitress came up. Well, it's and, not what I wanted to smell when I was trying to eat. What marijuana is a steak. marijuana is a, a lovely smelling thing. This was so pungent. Yeah, it, it was, was so pungent. Fine. Get, so the waitress says to uh, Alan and me. Uh, she says, do, "Do you smell that? And is it is it offensive?" And I said, "Yeah, it's offensive. I don't oh, like this." God, smell. are you a a bummer you're no so fun then at all. the manager comes over and tells the people to leave and don't come back until they air out <laughs> that's how bad you know, it when is. you're paying 60 dollars for a steak i want to be able to taste the oh, steak fuck you I'm you're stupid to pay 60 dollars for a yeah. steak uh, we had the happy Chris. hour we what did we pay 16 bucks or uh yeah well you yeah but when you found out that my roommate was buying you went nuts you bought that and then you <laughs> bought tuna and you had a cocktail and i mean i didn't have a cocktail i drank uh, 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 uh iced tea here comes With somebody uh, uh, here comes somebody is probably here against mr boddicker ag against his better mr ju boddicker against against his better judgment Actually. yeah hello scott Oh, I'm, I'm, I got to cancel something here. Oh, yeah, got, his, um, got your browser going there, and yeah. then you got to also oh, show us your 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 picture. You got to you got to sign Can't on figure with out what I'm doing. Well, wait a minute, hold on a second. I'll I'll send you a message. It'll say ask to start video. See, so there you go. Boom, ba do ba boom. Oh, but now you've got the audio going. No, 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 it's still going. Oh, there, what? there we go. No, wait, it's a little bit. Close the browser. Just kill the browser. Yeah, after you're signed into Zoom, you don't need to have the. Uh... He's got a fix, Bill. Oh, yeah. good. Is yeah. good? It only good? Ta it only takes a minute or so. If it were Jack, we'd still be going through this. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yeah. 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 Hey, was it skunk weed? Yes. Yeah. That it shit is nasty. like a skunk in the restaurant. That was nasty you guys, shit. You guys are prudes. Oh, you guys are but prudes. My neighbors next door to my house in Plano, they they smoked that shit. And I said, man, there's a skunk dead again. <laughs> the next day, there's another skunk can I, dead. Can I tell you a story? You remember you remember Kathleen who used to call the program yeah. until oh, one, yeah. one night for some reason she got mad exactly. at us. Uh, and uh, uh, we used to drive down the road. And, you know, sometimes when you're driving down the road, how you somebody's run over a skunk and now you're running over the skunk too and you right. get that smell right. coming into the car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you. I love skunk smell. Right? Oh! Yeah, and so does she. Mm -hmm. And we uh, used to just both look at each other and say the concomitant phrase, wood pussy. Uh, <laughs> What? It's roadkill. It's the smell of wood pussy. Wood that, that, pussy? That's Phil's cologne. What are you talking about? Wood yeah. pussy? Wood. Uh, wood I, pussy. I don't see the correlation, but uh, no, I, I a skunk Kathleen lives in saying. the woods, and we call it, and it kind of looks like a cat, you know. Mm -hmm. And so we call uh, it wood pussy. Oh, thank you for explaining. Now I got it too. But I'll tell you, yeah, we uh, Pepe we, Le Pew. Uh, Pepe, Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, yeah exactly. Pew. Exactly. Uh, when, uh, when at, at the police department, if we were driving down the street and we saw a cat that had been run over, mm -hmm. uh, you'd get on the radio and you'd say flat cat and give the address so animal control could go pick them up. Mm -hmm. Flat cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it yeah. kind of reminds me of wood pussy. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Phil was talking about early in the show about how he used to get nauseous when he was in a simulator. Yeah, a, a patrol car simulator. The thing is that they never let him in a real car because well, he couldn't hold, pass the simulator. Hold on a second, uh, Tony. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, by the why, what? why don't you turn on your goddamn oh, camera? I didn't, real, oh, I didn't realize. We never used to have to do that. It would be on when you sign in, but now all of a sudden it's not. Yeah. You know this uh, this this look of uh, of uh, Tony without the camera. 
is mm-hmm. much better. more pleasing Although because you don't have the now. you don't have the wall. I like paper. it. I like yeah. it. Yeah, me I too. Like it. You're mm-hmm. right, Phil. For one time, Phil is right. I like hey, it. No drink. <laughs> oh, he's got a drink. Oh, mm-hmm. what happened to the martini you had in the other glass? Ah, mm-hmm. uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh shit! There he is. There he is. Mm-hmm. The light was off. I don't know. I I. You're I'm always at, off. He says show. The light is low. Stop video and I don't know. I I don't need to turn more light on. I can't see the uh, the uh, wallpaper. Is, uh, yeah. is, is Scott's he, he, microphone loud? He what? lives in Queens. They only have candles. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, no I don't, in front of my house. Yeah, I don't. I don't have uh, any anything here that says enter full screen. Oh, we show meeting controls. Yeah, I don't know. I don't it care. was probably Tony's uh, login. It probably uh, has something checked that says don't turn on the camera. No, on. Uh, something on this end that may have changed when I updated yeah. or something like that. You know, but uh, you know, uh, Jeff Stein, watch. He'll probably be. Uh, what? Uh, Where's Jeff? Well, Jeff will be here. There he is. Yeah. And he doesn't have a camera problem. So oh. you guys did or something. You know. I haven't changed anything. Well, I don't believe you. Okay. Uh-huh. No, no, I do. I, I do like that. Jack. I like I like Jeff's uh, jacket he's got on. I like that. You like that? Yeah. What? Uh, he that. Keeps you warm, man. I, I understand that the weather uh, by you guys, Connecticut and New York, uh, is, is it raining or is it very cold? It's very just, cold. It's just cold, but our, our landlord isn't sending up any heat. Ooh. And there's Mine either. 500 a month. The, there's you one heat? <laughs> they're supposed to do it at 55 degrees in New York yeah. City. Don't you have fireplaces, Alex? I have fireplaces, yeah, but, you know. Fire them up. Hey, it's going to cost more. Hey, I want them to spend money downstairs sending. Fire that bitch up, man! Come Wait a on. minute, are, are those fireplaces safe? Because older fireplaces have creosote and all sorts of I stuff. I don't on give them. a. I don't give a damn. I have, I have Turn a, that I, bitch down. I I, <laughs> I I was making fires for a long time, and then I stopped. You know, I made one in a couple of years. I still got some wood though, so I, you know, if I wanted to yeah, make it, I could. It it's not that cold. You know, I can put okay. on. I, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering is creosol and creosote. It's creosote. Gold. It's creosote. Did he say right. creosol? Nobody gives a fuck. Whatever it is, it's no good for you. <laughs> you know, really carcinogenic. Carcinogenic. Don't smoke it. Yeah. Don't yeah. smoke it. Unless you go to Ruth's Chris. Yeah, I heard you had problems. I was listening. Yeah, no but he, pot, he pot. You know, he, no he, problems, he, he's two prudes. You know. <laughs> But, hey, it's legal now, guys. You know, live with it. Where? They were probably in their car smoking a joint before they went in to have a steak saying, let's build up a real hunger here. <laughs> and they were, you know, and the smoke was in the car and they got into their clothes and they came in and they was, they smelled of a skunky smell, Good. which I, as I say, whenever Chris, uh, Kathleen and I would smell it, we go, what pussy? And then we roll the windows down and go, <laughs> you know, we love that smell. What is it in a skunk that makes people's eyes tear? And, it doesn't uh, make my eyes tear. Well, you're, you're, you know, you're special. The only thing that makes my eyes tear is pot because of when I find out what the price is. Huh. So, you know. What Apparently is that skunk smell or whatever is used in I, perfumes, according to somebody in the chat room. By the way, we're just, we're just getting legal here in New York. I mean, we're legal enough that you're not going to get arrested for it, but pretty soon you're going to be able to go in dispensaries and buy it. And Gee. I went and looked at the prices. Somebody sends us stuff from California, these yeah. things for my little vape thing. So and how I, do they I send the price, that, one of these they vape... to send it? Yeah, sure. Why not? In the old days, if you sent pot, you r- rolled it, you put it in a baggie, and then you surrounded it with coffee okay oh, like he and, me coffee. and then you would oh. mail it and then the smell wouldn't i probably drink get out there okay <laughs> today me some, t- man. T- today you today you just don't give a good god damn how much is because, it expensive for pot or like oh, no, yeah. compared oh, yeah. to like a cartridge a cartridge and i don't know how long it lasts it lasts me months because i just do a toke of it before i go to oh. sleep or whatever to put me to sleep it was 45 bucks 
Wow. You know, okay. and yeah, I man. know people, I know people in California and elsewhere who buy their pot from dealers instead of going yeah. to the dispensary. And the you question get a is, bit of tax. it's cheaper. It, no, it's cheaper because there isn't any tax. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's cheaper and it's better. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Alan, why don't you tell everybody <laughs> what happens? Can you own a gun if you smoke marijuana? Can you buy a gun if you smoke marijuana? Really? Well, there's nothing marijuana? against. There's no law against you smoking. I don't. Yes. What, what I don't want to own a gun. I mean, it, well, it, that'd be the same as saying if you drink liquor, can you buy a gun? Well, I, they don't stop you from drinking liquor, but yeah. and marijuana. If you want to buy a gun, one of the questions on the uh, on the thing that you have to fill out mm -hmm. is: uh, Do you do you do you do drugs? Do you ma do oh, marijuana? Yeah. And sure, do, I'm do you have a marijuana yeah. card? If you have a medicinal medicinal marijuana card, that disqualifies you from being able to buy a gun. Why? What is medicinal? Medicinal. Menisminal. Menisminal. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, Alan's so smart. Ah. He's so smart. Well, you just, you know, they're they're calling it medis medicinal. Menisminal. Yeah, it's a yeah. common word. Now, you're, always saying, you're always saying Scott's drunk. You sound like you're drunk. Uh, here's it's the thing. Nuclear. In California, you don't hey, have to. Scott's not drunk. <laughs> you don't. But he wants to be. You don't have to. I like to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fact is that you don't have to have a medicinal uh, uh, card mm -hmm. anymore to buy pot right. in California. All you have to do is have the money, you know, mm -hmm. and right. be of age. And it's okay to spend fifty or sixty dollars on an eighth of weed here, right? Yeah. I don't smoke weed, so. Um, you know, I'd rather spend fifty or sixty dollars on a really good steak. Well, I stopped so. smoking. I've stopped smoking weed, uh, and not big, out of any other reason than I just got tired of it. But it I found lately night. that it's very good to put me to sleep. So I get the kind from California that's for sleep. There are different types of marijuana, sure. you know. I've heard of that. And and uh, I get the one that puts you to sleep. And I take one puff of that, and it just. This helps me sounds like sleep. Donald Trump right now. I don't smoke weed anymore, but I do right before I go to bed. No, it, it, Trump never Trump. did actually, drugs. He, he says he, he actually puts me to sleep. That wasn't my point. Uh, you know, there are other things that help put you to sleep. I recently bought. Well, you, you're a good sheets. example of that. Yeah, Phil. thank you. Uh, I, I, I bought <laughs> sheets for the bed. Uh, and they're made from bamboo, bamboo sheets. Right. They're wonderful. Really? Bamboo. Bamboo. Not only not only yeah, that they again. help you sleep that again. Every, and they're every, cooler. every week, Phil. Not that again. Every you week you tell us about a mission on this shit? What? Yeah, <laughs> well all bamboo. I can think of is that they're bamboo sheets. Can I roll some pot in them? Well, that's I'm why I brought it, like it up carpet? because you were talking about bamboo carpet? What? You were talking about Grass and bamboo is grass, or a grass. Is it? Yeah, is it? It's not is wood. It? It's a grass. Is it? Yeah. Is sure. it? I thought it was. Yeah, a tree. I'm sure. No, it isn't. What? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. What is it? Hemp. It's it's hemp. Hemp. No, it is not hemp. Bamboo yeah. is not hemp. No, bamboo is a grass. Just like you got grass on your lawn, bamboo is a type of grass. Oh, it's okay. not gotta, marijuana grass. But if it were I hemp, it. hemp. Look then it'd be a different story. Yeah, it's not hemp. It's bamboo. Well, give me some hemp sheets. And then when I run you know, out of they, pot, they, I can start they, smoking they, my oh. bed sheets. What? You know, yeah. they, they, make, they make a lot of stuff out of hemp. Really? I don't know about sheets, but uh, there, there's a lot of rope. things that made from rope. hemp. They make hemp out of rope. Oh, yeah, rope. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but there's, there's other stuff. I, I, thought, I thought you found some hemp underwear that you've been wearing lately. No, it's not hemp underwear. Uh, I wear Tommy ah. Johns. I hate to have to. I hate to have to smoke his shorts. <laughs> oh, no really? You don't want to smoke Phil's underwear. Yeah, but uh, you don't want to smoke the sheets either. But you get a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sheets. Sheets. No, no. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway. the key is sleeping cool. Jeff just went to go take a toke. Mm. 
Uh, yeah. He's one toke over the line. Maybe he went off to steal a car. You know. Mm -hmm. um, went to steal a yellow car? What? Well, you, you know the story about him I when do. he was a kid. Yeah. I do. Yeah. He stole the car. So right, right. we talked to him about that every now and then. Jeff Stein? Yeah, he was a thief. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Marijuana. No. Uh, it's it's something it's it's chocolate right dark yeah. chocolate yeah mm -hmm. is that chocolate oh, marijuana i gotta tell you a story gotta tell you a story yeah marjorie gets a thing of chocolate marijuana chocolate hemp chocolate right from our friends in california mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. she decides okay well I get, oh good i'll try some of the chocolate she eats one whole bar you're only supposed to eat one oh. square. Yeah. <laughs> she was high for two straight days. Oh my God. <laughs> lucky God. that you know, she didn't have to go to the hospital. And the bathroom <laughs> smelled like uh, Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I think you guys are prudes. I really do. Well, yeah. no, and the guy, what, what, what did this t-shirt say, Alan? What's that? He, the guy's t-shirt. He had a. Oh, it said Trump for president. No, it said marijuana or something like that. It had a marijuana leaf. I don't know what it said. Yeah. He was normal. Uh, he probably worked for normal. Probably. Well, now, now we can just see every, everybody's coming on. Oh, that's okay. the Jerry uh, logo on the. That's uh, it. That's the yeah, logo right. you were talking oh, about. There you go. That guy just it's passed Jerry, away. Jerry West. It's Jerry, Jerry West. Jerry West. That's it. Yeah. Jerry West died. Yeah, yeah, Dr. a couple Wilson? weeks ago. What? No. Wow. Yeah. So that logo, it, it's iconic, and uh, that was Jerry West. So oh. iconic, you didn't know who it was. No, he knew who it was. Hey. Well, I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not into basketball. I'm not into sports, so it, it wouldn't matter. You know, I don't. Uh, I have a friend that has to tell me what season it is. Alive still Jerry West? Well, Jerry West wasn't very old, was he? And he's uh, alive still. He's going to be old. He's 84. I just Googled him. Oh. 84? He, he That's old. No, wait, that wait, wait a minute. I remember Jerry West playing, and I ain't 84. Well, uh, he was born in 38. Oh, here's wow. Ke here comes Kevin. Wow. Uh, you know, Phil brings them in. Yeah, I think. Yeah. No, I can't, I can't handle together. all hour of Phil. That's why I call in later. <laughs> 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 well, Phil's been good tonight, but only because we haven't talked about politics at all. Yeah. No, and yeah. we probably it's won't uh, because it gives you agita, and uh, I don't want to do that. I, I'm your friend. Hey, by by, by the way, that? that's one of the Carmel. Uh, um, Keto's? Yeah, it's the new one. Butter pecan. Butter, butter pecan. pecan. I'm going to order What's those the because it's the only ones they're selling the now. They they don't sell the other ones there. Right. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to get that and see how, how is it? Is it good? They're okay. I, I like the other one's chocolate. You know, the other one's chocolate is sort of, I don't know. Okay. How I many like of it. those do you eat in the sitting, Brian? Uh, Five or ten, because Alex's are good for me. <laughs> oh, well, they're only they're only two carbs uh, per per bar. Really? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. how many calories? Who cares? Uh, I don't think that many. Yeah. No. It doesn't matter. It carbs. Like, if you go straight money. carbs, you don't have to worry about calories. It's when you overdo the carbs and then you overdo the calories. You know, and usually they work together anyway. Yeah. Yes, uh, Alan. So, uh, since we aren't talking about politics, did you see that the Trump organization, through his lawyers today, is offering the Justice Department to go back and search mar lago again? Do it. I mean, you know, he's, he's had two months to sanitize it. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It has had time to sanitize it. Of course. Yeah. So they're going to find nothing, and he's going to say, see, I told you I had nothing. Go now, check up on his coffin. The Justice Department is not as stupid as you, Trump. They're not going to go you in. You need to now. look in Melania's garment bag. <laughs> yeah. Well, they moved him to New York while he's in Mar-a-Lago. Well, he had to do it. He had to do it. He had to do a deposition today. In the case, up? in the case of this woman who's suing him, who she said he raped, 
Wow. Did he do it? At Bonwit Tellers, I think, maybe some store like that. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in a dressing room. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. God, that would Did be a show up? Did he do it? Up. Alex? What? Did he show up? Did he do it? Well, yeah, I think he did it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's been fighting he's it. Fifth, he's been, fifth, 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 no, right? No, but he's been fighting it all these years. And finally, oh, yeah. the judge said, no more fighting. Come in for the deposition. It's for, for he it had to come in for a deposition, and of course, something about DNA on the. I'm dress. sure he. I'm <laughs> sure he didn't plead the fifth because, as he said, anybody who pleads the fifth must be guilty. So. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. yeah. No, do it anyway. Four hundred times, right? Four hundred forty yeah. times. Four hundred and fifty times, I think. Fifty yeah. was it? Fifty. Yeah. They, was need that the, they need to check the ex-wife's coffin. That's in his golf course. Oh yeah, that's where it is. Actually, his no, ex-wife when, is in his bag. I had a pee, but when you, were, when you were talking about sanitizing I, I, at Mar-a-Lago, I kept thinking that all the toilet seats now have a piece of paper around it that says sanitized for your protection. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. 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 That's uh, cute. That's cute. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, that, that uh, he, uh, he's, he's, he's quite a few. He's lost quite a few things lately. You know, the judge is a great. The judge um, who was hearing uh, about the special master, this might have even been the special master, I don't know, I don't think so, but it was a judge in the case and they were going and they were, the, the Trump people were trying to prove something or another and finally the judge said, let me just say this to you, where's the beef? Yeah. Oh, the 21 response. Yeah. That was the master, yeah. yeah. Was the master? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. judge master. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the special, what do they call Ex-judge him? Ex-judge or whatever. He was a retired judge. Special so. master or whatever. Because yeah. he wants to yeah. see the classified documents. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Where's the How beef? How old is this guy? That's what I don't know. How well, old? Well, He's I don't know. He's over 70. He's got to be yeah, old. He's pretty old, yeah. Yeah. He's almost as old as Jerry West. Mm -hmm. I can't, Jerry West retired in 1974. God, it doesn't seem like that long ago. No, it doesn't, <laughs> especially to me because I didn't follow basketball. So he was 84. Yeah, so he, 84 so he was the, he was the logo on the NBA. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was Jerry West. Well, he. Yeah, it's, no. How do we know it's Jerry West? It's a shadow. It's Jerry West. Believe me, I know. That's an iconic shot at him yes it is it is very yeah yeah, yeah. so mm. uh, anyway uh you know that you notice that brian's only eating the chocolate he's not eating the ice cream. <laughs> there's a rich there's a way of eating uh ice cream uh, things like that it's similar to what you do with oreo cookies you split the cookie you take off the white stuff you and then you eat the cookie. And you yeah, throw no. away the chocolate, right? You racist? I don't throw away but anything. No, but here's no. the thing. <laughs> I, no, I, look, I know the reason he's doing that okay. is because uh, th this, is this is a keto bar and the chocolate doesn't stick as well to the ice cream, am I right? Ah. And it could fall everywhere, so you t kind of bite it off first and then you eat the center part. That's why you leave the paper on the bottom, so the paper can, uh, you know, the wrapper. I can... ain't mine over the sink. Uh, okay. Is that really ice cream, or is oh, yeah. it some yeah. sort of imitation? Well, it's keto. What is what is it? Uh, do you know, Brian? If he knew, he wouldn't what eat is it. That? It's good. It's all <laughs> it's, it's bamboo. It, it's really, yeah. it's really good. <laughs> it's it's bamboo. It's really good. In fact, you're making me, you're making me Jones for one. I should go. Mm -hmm. Then I'd have to eat it over my waste basket. I've got some ice cream. Ah, yeah, it. Go mix it up. Put uh, it in ice martini. cream and martinis. What a wonderful mix. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. For Scott, anything goes with liquor. Yeah. I was okay. all that time. Uh, oh, Scott, okay. Scott. Uh, you know, yeah, I, like the, no. I like the creamsicles. Uh, are the creamsicles yeah, giant's colors? You know, the uh, giant. This is ingredients are cream, water, chocolate coating. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, unsweetened chocolate, coconut, and then it starts going into the weird words. It's a fudge mm -hmm. bar. Fudge bar. The preservatives are probably made by your company, Brian. Yeah. 
So they probably test them. <laughs> My other company that worked for before this one, we tested milk con fat content and wine content. Oh, well, you should take Phil with you. The fat content part. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I had my body composition thing done. Mm -hmm. and, you uh, mentioned that already. I, I know how much. You, yes. You well, mentioned I, that. Every 15 Do you want to mention Ruth, Ruth's Chris again? Ah! And Ruth's Chris. Or, or, or uh, yeah, there was one other thing he mentions all the time. What is that, uh, Alan? He mentioned it tonight. Uh, that Trump didn't do anything wrong? No, 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 no. Oh. Um, although, I'll tell you, the funniest, uh, the, the funniest rejoinder I've heard in a long time Mm -hmm. was uh, Herschel Walker at the debate. Did anybody see the debate? Yes. The yes. End no. With the Warnock, or, uh, Warnock, what's his name? Warnock. 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 I feel Warnock. Uh, and, and when uh, finally uh, Warnock mentions, and you're not a cop either. And, <laughs> and Herschel Walker was ready for this and he pulls out a badge <laughs> and he says, what is this? And the host moderator. of the show, the moderator said, did you hear about all the things you can and can't do? Rules. The rules yeah, for rules. the debate. Yeah, and he we said, are you aware? About, are you no. aware of them? And he, she said, he said, yes. He says, then you know you can't use any props. Mm. And he said, this isn't a prop. This is a badge. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Well, you know, it's reasonable that he can answer uh, an attack from his opponent. Mm -hmm. That was and, an honorary badge. It was an honorary uh, badge. Guy. He and got the, it. And, he, and the the, the uh, sheriff's association in this country said it's given to people to put on display case, not to carry. It gives you no police officer power. His his was given to him by the FBI. No, it wasn't. No way. No, it was yeah. given to was no. It was given to jail. it was given so, to him as an honorary by a local police department or sheriff's so department. So this means I'm a cop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go. You, you can go there, look it up, there, Phil. We're gonna start you're going to find out where soon, you can Kevin. look it up all you want, Phil. You're going to be this wrong. This means I'm a cop. Yep. Yep. Yeah. This yeah. means I'm like a cop. Elvis. Just like Elvis, right? Elvis had it bad. Yeah. Yeah, See, I don't have a badge around here now. Uh, I'll send you one. This will make you a U.S. Marshal. A oh. Woo! Send that me one means I'm a cop. They yeah, a sticker. Yeah, but his didn't even say police on it. It was. It looked like something he stole yeah. from a kid's it cowboy like a toy outfit. Like this. Yeah, it looked like a toy. Like yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Uh, uh, no, he's a piece of work. He really is. Except but. for that badge isn't real anymore either. It's stolen property from the no, original. Well, not stolen. That one was mine. His, Which uh, goes back to the fact that it's a prop. Yeah, he's, yeah. Set, he's seven points behind, so it doesn't look good for him. Uh, the other big races, the, what's happening in, in Arizona is very, very weird. I mean, yeah. you've got some mm -hmm. real pieces of work going there. All yeah. of them. Yeah. I mean, it, to the point where, I mean, it's, look, you know, you can deny a lot of things, but the fact is, Biden won, okay? No, he didn't. Mm. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, right. He didn't win. No. He was stolen, man. He was stolen. Hey, listen, I, I downloaded a movie today. I got to watch. So, this woman turned out a movie about that uh, the whole uh, uh what was his name the guy who got uh, strangled by the cops uh, uh, uh floyd yeah the whole george, george floyd, floyd thing oh, floyd yeah george floyd. was was a phony yeah but, oh yeah that's another yeah. yeah and and now kanye out. west saw this film and now oh. he's saying that it was a phony what the, what she claims <laughs> is and all this could be disputed just by the evidence that when they got him out of the his car, they arrested him out of his car. He saw them coming for his car. That he swallowed a whole bunch of uh, uh, fentanyl, fentanyl, okay. yeah, just downed a whole bunch of fentanyl. And that when they had him on the ground, what he died of was a fentanyl overdose. Oh yeah, that's what so they're his, claiming. Oh. His, his, his I, knee obstructing his breathing had nothing to do with it. Now I saw an well, early... Let me finish. Let me finish, yeah. Phil. The fact of the matter is, I am sure that when they did an autopsy, they looked for drugs. 
They did. Yeah, and they found some, but it wasn't anything lethal. Uh, I, I, I saw some excerpts from a coroner's report early on that said that, there, that he had drugs in his body. And I, oh. I don't remember the drug because it just wasn't that important at the time. But um, That's uh, I think he might have swallowed <laughs> drugs prior to the police contact. Aspirin. And and he's done it before. Well, uh, whatever it was, an autopsy, he said, that isn't what killed him. So the, he got, Even if he had drugs right. in his body, it doesn't warrant him to be. But, but the autopsy says that he died of a heart attack while he was pinned down to the ground saying he couldn't breathe yeah. before it's they choked him. Quick. But don't That's, tell, don't tell, excuse me, not Kanye, I'm being disrespectful. Yay. Yay. Hmm. No, yay. Oh. It's, Why e? No, it's a yay. It's yay. Can yay? pronounce yay because oh. it was con yay, so he just dropped the con. Yeah. Yay? But here's a con. He, really he should have kept con? the con. It would have been more <laughs> accurate. Con is a yay. Okay. This uh, is good. Uh, and and he's now he's now he saw that film and he's now saying you know he was he was well he died of an overdose. He didn't die from the cops. Alex, you always say that I, if I'm wrong, that I never say that I'm wrong. Well, I looked it up, and it was a sheriff's badge from a sheriff in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah, Alex, everybody. You were right. Every, I was wrong. Everybody, have a drink, folks. Yeah. Phil was wrong. Yeah, see? I told see? you, I, you didn't even have to waste your time doing that. Uh, the, the, oh, I, I, I was I had heard that it was a FBI badge, but uh, <laughs> that you know, and so that's what I believe. Well, that's what happens when you listen to Fox. Well, I don't know that I heard it from Fox. I, I don't know exactly where I heard it from, but uh, you know, because I listened so to Phil. Well, well this day. is as real as the badge you have. Yeah, but you bought that one. This it one doesn't was, matter. This that's one a, that's was an L, well, that's an LA badge, isn't it? That's an LA team. You're a real cop and you're a fake cop. What? Yeah, yeah. that's the one that was on Dragnet. Well, no, it's a that's different a number. That's a seven fourteen. No, a different number, but that, no, it's it's really says, it says uh, one one zero one zero six. It's a lieutenant's badge. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that essentially that was like the badge that was on. Dragnet at yeah, the beginning. That, that yeah, number was 714, which was a right. very famous yeah. number. Do you think that's where they came up with Aurora 714? Who knows? Huh? Who knows? That's the number of home runs Babe Ruth hit. That's right. Hey. That's that's where they came up with it. It was a, it was an homage to Babe and, Ruth. And, and everybody on the cast got a free Babe Ruth bar. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Anyway, where are You're we? You're better off just saying Trump things. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, hello, Kevin. How are you? Kevin. How how was your marching hey, you? how was your marching Hi. band stuff on Saturday? Oh, I did it every day the last two or three weeks. Wow. I'm wasted. Is it all over now? Oh no, it goes on till January. He videotapes uh, these bands doing in their very in, varying incarnations, whether they're a marching band or they're a, 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 a orchestra. Or all whatever. Yeah, and and he and, he videotapes them, and then he and what is he do with these videotapes? What? What he is he going them. to do with these? Videotapes? They're on YouTube. But okay. I mainly videotape them for the director, so he they can. Critique them in class. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but That's but, mainly but it's on YouTube and it's under Kevin Stopper, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So look them up. It's, 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 all, great. it's all competitive stuff. Okay. There, there is a girl. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what her name is now. That I've been watching on YouTube. She's a violinist. Have you seen her? Uh, her name is. is Bill Meyer. No. Is she naked? No, no. I'm trying to see if I have it <clears> here at all. Um, hmm, a naked nah, violinist. I guess not, but I I don't have her name don't here. Dasha Heifetz. No, but she's a Russian girl, and she yeah. she's like does a, is a street musician, and she's out mm. there playing the violin and dancing, and she's adorable, just adorable. I like the hot violinist. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a bunch of videos about. 
a that, hot violin. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah. The Russian girl. I like it. Do you know okay. you know what I'm talking about, Scott? I don't know if I've seen the Russians, but I've seen these other gals. The violinists, it's just amazing. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's be she's better than women with guns. Yep. You know, oh, yeah. Uh, because you can go on to YouTube and find women shooting guns in bikinis. In bikinis. Absolutely. Yeah. Can you? I, I, I have not seen that. Oh, Where's I, that I, 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 you I, don't get the feeds? They are recommend them to me. Do you remember when I was Naked doing... Naked women are you, bikini? When, when, when I was doing the TV gun show. Gun people? When I was doing the TV show. Okay. The TV version of this. I used to run them all the time. Because they were hot. Yeah. Gun... Shooting bikini. There was also yeah. uh, was that Dana Loesch, Dana uh, no, no. Dana Loesch uh, from. You be shot, yeah. No, <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, they also you used to run some things where people would have misfires, where they'd shoot their hat off or the oh, yeah. uh, they they get knocked over on the ground and. No, well, uh, why is it right? I'm one talking about eye. one thing and you're talking about another? But I'm talking to about women, a very attractive, busty women in bikinis yeah. shooting heavy devices like, you know, uh, AK-47. up and down from the recoil. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. You've seen it, right? Charlie, you've been cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are these problem. places? I got to know. They're on the World know. Wide Web. They're on YouTube. They're on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah, and uh, 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 women shooting big guns. Uh, I'll, fi I'll find one one night and we'll play it here. This <laughs> well, with oh, big guns shooting. There guns. is everything on YouTube. There is yep. everything on YouTube, and I, and I don't know all this stuff. Anything you want to find out about is on YouTube. Yep. Oh, like, yeah. for instance, I have positional vertigo, I was told by my doctor, mm -hmm. and that I should go get therapy for it. And he gave me a place to go for therapy. However, there's yeah. a, the only thing they're going to teach me is a thing called the Epley maneuver. So I went online and I said cures for uh, a vertigo, and over. they said the Epley procedure does it. And you lie in bed and you do this, and you do that. And I, I've learned. I was able to find out how to do that by going on YouTube. Anything you want to find out about is on YouTube. God, yeah. we were we were on the show one night about a year ago, and somebody sent me a picture. Of how to put a condom on. Yes. Oh, we yes. don't want to see that. No. Oh, and the, oh, yeah, and the kid. It was like a twenty-five-year-old kid, and he's got he's on got YouTube. They have this guy with a yeah. hard on putting on a condom. It's educational, and, and they let they that. Let they monetize that. It's, it's educational. educational. I have yeah. no idea. It was educational. I didn't look to see if that's on. I know how to use it. There are not many. You, you look, you look, Alan. You, I know He's got look. a continuous you loop look. of it playing all day long. <laughs> no, but, but uh, no, the loop. one of Phil has a got loop. a penis about this big hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How would you yeah. know? <laughs> I Alan saw it under looking, your name. He was looking for a big hard penis, <laughs> would you? John, admit it. Admit it, Alan. Come on. Admit what? Admit you were looking for a big hard penis. Well, I wouldn't be at your place, that's for sure. If I was, well, well, wait, uh, I got I got a little tiny one. You won't want to come here. Everybody's oh, got a sure. tiny one, but they don't admit to it. <laughs> oh, well, I'll admit to it. I, I got a tiny one. I don't care. Yeah. Well, and the well, older you get, the shorter it gets. Well, well it just I'm doesn't sure. perform as well. By the way, there's lots of videos that show women shaving their pubic hair, too. Oh, oh yeah. where? Well, oh. Charlie, oh. you're cheating on me. Where what about those? the pimple? What about the uh, the people getting pimples removed? Now, you know what's going to happen with this ass. discussion? Pimples? You know yeah. what they'll do on YouTube? They'll demonetize me for talking about them. <laughs> no, See, if, if I, YouTube. But do, this is uh, they, and they actually uh, have women. Women? Do they actually have women uh, 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 defoliating they mean, their yeah. pubes? Yeah. Yes, yes, they do. Yes, oh, yeah, they I, do. I've watched oh. many of the videos. Oh, Charlie, you cheater! Boy, you are loud tonight, Scott. You must have really had some drinks in you. I told you. I need a drink. Turn your volume down, Scott. You know, you even, if you think about something, all of a sudden you start seeing the videos on uh, YouTube or you start seeing commercials for it on your iPhone. 
Uh, you, you know, even their curtsies. I think it listens to what you're talking about. Hey, hey, don't do all your drinking now, Scott. You still got Jack's show to do. <laughs> no, no, no. The most, that's no, why he's drinking. Drink yeah, that's that's why he's drinking. Yeah. So, oh, the other thing that's happening here in New York, you know, we were talking about pot stores opening up, and they're going to have the – they should be starting to open around the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And the people who got the first licenses were people who had been convicted of mar yes. and sent to prison for marijuana s uh, selling. Mm. They're going to get the first licenses to run these right. stores. But they have the experience. So, so, so somebody that does three or four murders, if they if they make the weapon that he used for the murder legal in New York, they'll give him the licenses? No, no they get to sell them. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, you know, here here's the thing. Here's the thing. What they're putting out there now and they're taking the bids for is they want to put a casino in Times Square. Oh, wow. Yes. And I'm against that. I would be I'm too. real I'm just, just like uh I'm against all these go online and gamble your ass off sites. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. because there are families who are gonna have all kinds of problems with their spouses now that they can do it from home they can lose the entire family fortune at home at least before you had to go to a casino somewhere and you had to get on a plane and go to vegas but now you can do it right in in your own home in new jersey i could lose ten thousand dollars before this show was over you know i mean it's uh it, i think it's terrible and i think it's terrible that they want to open up a casino in times square well, uh, aren't many Indian American Indian uh, groups uh, uh, pro yes. opening these things? Because I guess they get no, uh, they're not. Because this is oh, a, oh, they're they're against the online because it takes away from their yeah uh, yeah land and and, and, and ones. yeah and and the ones they're going to put in Times Square. They're talking to uh, uh, existing casino owners about opening them. So we're not talking about. Uh, Native the Americans, neighborhood. huh? There goes the neighborhood. Well, I just, I just don't like the idea. You I don't know? like it either. I mean, if I they want to gamble, if they want to gamble, let them go upstate, go to one of the Indian casinos or whatever. At least you've got to go out of your way. Here, you just go downtown. Oh, hey, I'll say, you go in and just lose all my money. You know. We have two in Connecticut, but they're very hard to get to. Really. Yeah. I, know, I mean, I never want. I don't want. To what do you mean they're hard to get to? Well, they're, you know, compared to to New York, mm -hmm. it's like at the end of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. It's practically in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. oh. That's what he can sum. Yeah, they think you have up there. Yeah. That's zero in Connecticut. Yeah, you know, my dad told me that gambling is for suckers because uh, you, you don't win. You know, you might win one time, but you end up giving it all back to them. Well, so uh, usually, I really stayed out of gambling casinos. Usually a, I went a, a, a confirmed uh, a gambler. Uh, mm -hmm. Really, the problem is, see, I don't gamble because I don't like to lose money. Exactly. I feel bad about losing money. A mm -hmm. true gambler is not gambling to win. They're gambling for the thrill of gambling. And so win or lose, they're getting a thrill off of that. But most of the time, you play continually. You're going to lose. In, uh, the house uh, always wins. I, I, uh, I was like, in the end, the house wins. If you know when to walk away. I've walked away and walked away with $5,000. But I didn't continue to put money back in that slot machine. Okay. Nope. Want to hear something funny? When, we went, when I went with my brother to Vegas, when he worked for Verizon, he, he was able to take somebody, so he took me out there. I don't gamble, so he had conventions to go to and meetings. He says, here's $100, you know, play a little bit. So I really, I was just sitting there, like, playing Keno and stuff like that. I got bored after all, so I went I went shopping then, then you know. Because I, I, I was watching these people gamble. It's like, how can, even though they have the money, it's like, they're just throwing thousands of dollars down. It's like, it, and it's just all around like that. It's well, I mean, but that's, that's, that's the problem. You know, if you play long enough, you're going to lose. lose. Yeah. So you have to know when to play and when to stop. And it, I, one point, at one was, point, I put um, a, 
about a ten dollars worth of coins into a slot machine, and I made like six thousand dollars. It poured out six thousand dollars. So what I did is I took five thousand of it, put it in my pocket, and then I took the other thousand and I went into the really high stake slot machines, the ones where it's each time you put in a coin, it's a ten dollar coin. And I walked and, away with another two thousand dollars. So I just said, "That's it," you know. For all the times yeah. I've been here and lost and everything, I finally broke even. You know. I, I think I was nineteen, and I and I was probably making I don't know a couple hundred dollars a week back then. And I went into the the Hyatt in in North Shore Lake Tahoe, mm -hmm. and I won five hundred, but then I lost fifteen hundred, and it was such a bad feeling. Uh, it, it, uh, you know, I've never you, the, wanted the to have thrill that of, again. The thrill of losing has to be as great as the thrill of winning. Well, it wasn't for me. And in that case, you're mm -hmm. an inveterate gambler. If but you can't Bill, stand you to lose, all, you won't become a gambler. Bill, what? you lost all that money, but you told me that you stole 4000 Sweet and Low. <laughs> of course, I lost all that money because then if afterwards I spent it on hookers. But that's another story <laughs> altogether. <laughs> nice, Scott. Nice, Scott. Nice. Actually, I've never. I only, only had something to do with a hooker once. Yeah. And I went to the. I was a, a friend of mine wanted to go to the. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you call? It? Not chicken not, ranch. The chicken ranch, in yeah. uh, in uh, outside of I've heard Reno. Story before. Mm -hmm. yeah. The bunny ranch. Oh, the bunny yeah. ranch. No, the bunny yeah. ranch was owned by a friend of mine. I used to go there all the time, and he said, "Anybody in the house you want." I, I have to pay them 50%, so I'll, all you have to pay is 50%. And I never, oh. ever took them up on the offer. Yeah, but I, so I, I, I'm sitting there. My friend's gone off at the, at the, at the chicken branch or whatever. And I thought, eh, and, uh, I, you know, I, I'm bored. I, I should do something. I th I've never done this before, so I figure how much it's going to cost. A hundred bucks. Okay. All right. That's not bad. So, yeah, well, this was back in the 20s. Anyway, uh, I so I go to this room with this woman, and you know I just got no thrill out of it at all, because yeah. my thrill is seduction. Mm -hmm. You know, you seduce a woman; she wants to be with you. You have yep. sex. Mm -hmm. Will you? Won't you? You know all that game that's played, and um, sorry. Sorry. in this case, it was like very, you know, matter of fact. Here, what give me the money. I'll blow you. Okay. Which one did you take? 50 bucks. I'll blow what, you. what did you now, say? Well, what a room did is when you went to get dressed and opened the door, there was a nude picture of Phil on the door. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. God. I wish you'd have been on. Hooker had an Adam's apple. Hey. Uh, uh, no, wait a minute. What? Yeah. Well, what, Phil? You know, your friend uh, Hoff that owned the Mustang Ranch, I guess it no, was. No, no, no. Oh, the Mustang Ranch is where I went, by the way. Not yeah. the chicken. Now, it was the Mustang there's a Ranch. Woman, there's, a, there's a young woman on Fox News, a commentator, uh, mm. who goes to different locations, and her name is Andrea Hoff. You don't know if she's any relation I to doubt you. it. No. I doubt yeah. it. Not at all. You know, but the thing is that... Um, your friend won an election. No, but Mustang, was Mustang Ranch. That was where I was. Uh, I, I don't famous. know why I said the chicken ranch. Somebody here said the yeah. chicken ranch. And I did go to a place called the chicken ranch once to do a That's documentary. To do a documentary. Yeah. yeah. And it, had, it was called that. It was in, uh, I can't remember where it was in Nevada. Very out of the way town. And uh, the reason they named it that is they had turned this whore, they turned a chicken Farm. Coop farm into a whorehouse. Nice. Yeah. 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 But but no, it was a Mustang ranch that I went to. Yeah. A Mustang ranch, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I it was the only the time I've ever name. you had him on the show and I actually asked him a question or two. He's a very nice guy. He ran for state senator, was it? Or state Something like that, uh, yeah. in Nevada yeah. and yeah. and he passed away and he actually won the election. Go on. Yeah. 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 You know, the only reason why you want to go to the chicken ranch, Scott, is because you like being able to hold it while you have sex with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Boy, you're, 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 you know, I've got to teach you about telling jokes. 
But that actually was not a f uh, an unfunny yeah, joke. Yeah. It was just unfunny the way you performed it. Well, yeah, three people on the show laughed, so. Yeah. Ooh, I did. made Who chicken laughed? sounds. <laughs> Who laughed? I Yo, made you, chicken sounds, I Alan. <laughs> but I'm nobody, <laughs> nobody laughed at your jokes, mm -hmm. Alan. Doc Allen and what the fuck your name? But anyway, I just found it a very have un... another cocktail. Scott. I I said it hey, was. Hey, it was like I am cocktailed out. Buddy. Oh, now and now he's gonna call Jack. You're now he's gonna arrest. call Jack. No, I'm not calling Jack because. Oh, please call Jack. Jack. Please sorry, call Jack. Jack. What? Jack, listen now. I just no, no good. Okay. Look at him, Jack. Look at him, Alan. Hands up on the. Him. Put your hands in the air. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Another fake badge. Another fake Not badge. Fake. <laughs> well, the one he showed on television, it looked like he stole it from a little kid who had it on a yeah, costume for a Halloween. Yeah, a Halloween costume. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, it, 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 it's just hilarious what's going on around the country and some of the people who are, are running for public office and you're going, why? Okay. <laughs> why? Herschel. uh, Herschel's the... the, the the king of the bunch. This guy didn't get kicked in the head enough when he was in pro sports. He probably did. That's the problem. Yeah. He actually said he had he some was mental a good football issues. Player. He yeah. was a good football oh, player. But he supposedly he, he was a great some, football player. He said he had some mental mm -hmm. issues. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what they were, but he says he, he I, worked. I Charlie, is he bipolar? I thought he had mental problems. Like, well, he pulled that. a gun on the cops. He did that. Yep. Uh, what else did he do? Well, of course, the stuff with his girlfriend who got pregnant and paid for her abortion. I don't know the woman. Don't know and, the woman. And he doesn't know the woman, even though the woman then later on had a child by him. Yeah, my brother's like, yeah. he didn't pay for the abortion. You know what I think it is, Alex? A lot of these players, they must have that brain disease because he took a lot of hits. He is that the brain disease you get living in Queens? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, well, the two, qui the three quietest people on the Tony. show are all along the bottom here. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff and uh, Brian and oh, Kevin and and you know Charlie to a lesser extent, and and if he weren't drunk, we wouldn't hear a word from Scott. <laughs> <laughs> the ones on the bottom are all the intellect. Uh, <laughs> I'll come. I'll come. I know where you live, Alex. I know where you fucking live, man. I'll come. Up. Out there and fuck you up. Well, you I'm just sorry. demonetized this program hey. tonight. No, like but, true hey, but but hey. nothing nothing tops the time that Boddicker took his shirt off at the end of the show. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, no, you know, remember no. that? Do you know you remember that? that? You, at the very you, you were you, outside. You were outside. You were outside. Up, you you're outside. He wasn't and then the last up thing you did was you took off your shirt. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, oh Jesus, no. <laughs> we used to have a guy, we used to have a guy, David Hajek, and he, when he was living in the States in uh, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. he used to do the show shirtless. Really? No. He would, he would eat That's why and, Phil watched it. And he, he, would, he wouldn't wear a shirt. Were we doing video then, though? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we were? Yeah. yeah. I yeah, was at my uh, dermatologist uh, three days Two, three days ago, and she said, Oh, yeah, we took a bowl off you. And I said, like, where? Oh, on, on my forehead? No, on your on your buttocks. No, I said, no, I not <laughs> take anything off my buttocks. I, I don't believe you. A photo of, of me with my buttocks. I said, Oh, yeah, I remember showing that to my friends on Skype. Mm -hmm. Yes, and okay. Well, that was, I don't believe you. I don't believe you, Scott. I think it's still there. I don't believe you. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Ryan, Just don't. Shit don't, disturber. Uh, <laughs> don't do it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to bleep his picture here. I oh, know. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. I mean, Charlie remembers, don't you, Charlie? Yeah, I remember. Anyway, oh, yeah. uh, Phil. It, it looked like a bullet hole in my asshole. I, I, my <laughs> okay, ass. stop already. Because we, we, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> no, we got it. Thank you, Phil. They, We've they, got they, two they minutes. Off, to... They took it off your butt and they put it on your face. You turn your face. <laughs> <laughs> He's got what? two minutes. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Alan. 
Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it. Scott? Uh, you're, you're, you're. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, when I drink, I'm better, right? Yeah. I drink, I'm yeah. Better. yeah. Yeah. I drink next time. But at a certain point, you probably should not drink. You see, then it'd be just right. <laughs> I have to find the, we put you over the tipping point. You're ridiculous. Uh, uh, Tony, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks to uh, my uh, keto eating bar friend, uh, uh, Brian. And Brian. of course to Kevin. Nice having you here, Kevin. Everybody go uh, look up Kevin Stopper on YouTube and you'll see some wonderful kids playing music. Everybody give a big wave goodbye and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. Okay. Bye-bye. See you later. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, listen, guess who's next? Jack Bishop will be here. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.